Hey everybody, I'm Joel Feenstra. I'm a Canadian University Trades Instructor. And today I want to go and introduce you to what is referred to as, well, what is referred to, what is actually called the Wacom Express Key over here. And it is something that I just recently got a hold of here and have made a bunch of shortcuts to go and run my online classes. If you're anything like me, you are probably doing some hybrid, you know, maybe a little bit face to face where possible, but lots that's going to be online. It has been an adventure to go and say the least. I'm now teaching from an uninsulated garage in the middle of a Canadian winter. It is cold outside. It is cold inside. It is dark outside. It is light inside here because I've at least made myself a little corner here inside of the garage. Uh, this, by the way, is Eli. Eli is about a eight month old, six, eight month old Norwegian forest cat. He is young. He is full of energy. And at some point he might interrupt the video and I might have to go and like put him outside or something like that again. But we're going to leave him in here for now. and Hopefully he behaves. He does not always behave during class, but the students, they love that. All right, let's go and take a look at Zoom, which is what we want to go and run with this thing. I'm just going to show you a bunch of things that I'm doing while I'm inside of Zoom. So I'm going to go and open up Zoom over here. This is my main Zoom uh, desktop that I have over here. It's 946 at night and I'm recording. We're going to go and hit a new meeting over here. And this is going to go and open up my regular Zoom window. So at this point, I have launched my Zoom window so that I am going to go and have... Oh, wrong one there. Uh, sorry. So that I'm going to go and set myself up underneath settings. I set myself up to enter always with my video and with my audio both off. The reason that I'm doing that is because I've got this wonderful little express key that is going to go and take care of turning them on and off for me. So I'm going to cut back and forth between videos. It's a little bit jerky because the laptop that I have just doesn't have the processing power. It freezes up a little bit because I'm going to be running video and then I'm going to be running some video, you know, back and forth from uh, Zoom and the Windows camera app. So just bear with me if it gets a little bit crashy and laggy. All right, we're gonna first go and switch up our camera. Oh, wrong camera. This one over here. So I've got my camera that's you know zoomed in on the work that I'm doing over here. This is my Express Key remote. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and be utilizing these buttons over here to go and control Zoom. And I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna be pressing them. For now, just so you know which buttons are which, I'll just point at them with my tablet or with my pen over here because my fingers are too big otherwise. This over here is going to be my mute button. This over here will mute all of my students. This is going to go and toggle my screen share. This over here is going to go and freeze that screen share so that students themselves cannot uh, you know, see. I can move around materials in the background and then unfreeze again they can see. That's going to be my video. Then I've got a few other things that are going to be set up inside of here. I'm going to go and have my participants panel that is going to be over here for admitting students. I can just tap on that. It'll pop the participants panel up, but I can admit the students that are late. They're never late. They're students. And then this one over here, which is my raise hand. And the raise hand doesn't work when you're the boss of the meeting. It only works when you're a participant in the meeting. But I try and keep all of my controls up here near the top. I've also got this key ring over here that has been programmed, and it's able to give me a bunch of different modes. Um, when I click this one, it'll go and cycle through. The modes that I'm going to have a program for are all going to be to do with my view. So the first mode actually isn't to do with you. I should correct myself there. First one's going to be my volume for those times when you get that really quiet student. And you just need to go and crank the volume so I can just, you know, spin that up and down. It's like an old school iPod that you can go and spin it up and down. If I move into the second one, so I press that center one, the light will then move over. That's gonna go and allow me to change between speaker and gallery view. And if I go to this last one over here, that's gonna allow me to page through my gallery view. If I've got a really large class with you know many students inside of it, that I can page through them all. All right, let's go and take a look at the actual Zoom meeting itself. So this is my Zoom meeting that I'm in here right now. And I'm gonna go and click on my components. Oops, sorry, I just gotta go make sure I've got the Zoom meeting itself brought to focus. And then I'm going to be able to go and unmute inside of here. You can see that my unmute has just gone on off. I'm not clicking it over here. I'm just clicking my express key over here. I'm also going to be able to go and toggle my video. So that's me once again. Uh, and I'm using just this button over here for my video. I don't know if you can see that or not. But the button is lit. It's a really, really low quality video right now. And the image is flipped and everything like that just because of the... Uh, 
the processing that's happening over here, but this is going to be my volume that I'm going up and down with right now. You can't see it, it's unfortunately up in the corner of the screen where it's off your view. When I press this center button, that's going to go and move me to my middle mode, which would allow me, if I had a meeting going right now, going between here and here would change me between speaker and gallery view. And then if I went to this last one over here, you can see it pops up a little menu. That would be for my participants and I'd actually be able to scroll through pages of them when I've got loads and loads of participants inside of a meeting. So I press it one more time. Every time I do press it, it is supposed to pop up with that one little meeting, uh, menu that you saw pop up over there. It's supposed to warn you about, but it doesn't always work with Zoom. I can live with that because I'm just super happy that I can control my Zoom as is. All right, let's go and do a screen share. To do a screen share, I'm just gonna go and toggle another one of these buttons. I can carry it around, it's wireless. It charges off of just a micro USB. Uh, Eli is just attacking the back of my legs right now and that hurts a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna go into a screen share. So when I go and click that, it uh, brings me up to this window where I can select whatever it is that I might want to go and share. You know, I'm gonna share this one over here, my Wacom Desktop Center, and then I would hit share. I can also go and hit that share. I can hit enter and I can hit a tab button with my modifiers inside here so I can tab through stuff once again without having to use my mouse. Uh, at this point now, it's sharing that one over there. If I want to freeze my screen, I can do that as well. And that's just gonna go and freeze you know, my share. And then I'm gonna be able to go and continue with my share as well. So right now we will do a freeze and it's frozen right now and I'm moving my mouse, I've opened up other materials in the background here and there's nothing happening whatsoever. So I'm gonna go on unfreeze and we're back to where we were. We'll hit stop share, and that's the end of that one. But yeah, that is it. In a nutshell, this thing over here allows me to, with my free hand, you know, I'm a right-handed teacher, so a lot of the time what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be working on my actual Wacom tablet uh, with my pen you know we're dealing with technical explanations where it's all math and drawings and it's all flying together all at once and when I'm doing that I don't have the time to go and surf back and forth and so when I'm changing stuff when I'm muting or unmuting or turning video on and off I'm doing that all off of this over here the beautiful thing is this is not limited to zoom alone the exact same keystrokes that I use for my camera and my audio I can set up so that when I'm in a Teams meeting with my boss because they prefer to use Teams I can toggle the same things inside of there I can do my share screen everything else same with you know when I go to Google Meet so it's a really universal component that is going to make your life as an instructor just so so much easier for managing if you're teaching full-time cannot tell you how happy I have been with all of the you know the Wacom gear that I have over here at this point because it has just made my life teaching online insanely better than what it could have been. Tablet with a pen input, cannot, you know, I'm running my fingers all over the place on top of this. It's not picking that up. Can't do that off of, you know, an iPad or a Surface or anything like that because anytime that I try to write, I'm always up against it and then I'd always be moving materials, etc. So I just, you know, love having this set up between the Express Key remote and the Wacom and because they're both part of the same software family they play well together so I can use them to both smoothly control and run my Zoom meetings. Alright, that's all I want to share with you is just how to go and utilize that. I'm going to throw out a completely separate video on how to go and program and set this thing up for Zoom and then you can you know follow my keystrokes so on that one i'll go through all the software that i uh, will allow you to go and program one of these for the zoom default shortcuts and uh, then programming for teams anything else you just kind of follow the same thing all right everybody stay safe good luck teaching uh, remotely and uh, hopefully someday soon we will be able to also be back and seeing our students once again cheers everybody